Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to access HDMI as an input in your Android TV app. So let's begin. We will create a new app or new activity which we can say HDMI input for Android TV. Click finish. Wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. In the meantime, I can just quickly show you in the device manager, you can, if you have not configured or installed the TV uh, emulator, you can do so. So you can go to this create uh, device, choose the TV option, choose whichever uh, TV you want, click next and click from the uh, images which you is there. I will recommend the latest one will be the best. Click next and then it will take a while to download the image and install it. Uh, okay, so I'll cancel it over here and it's still waiting for my environment to load. I'll just minimize this device over here. Yeah, it is still loading. So I don't think I'll need anything from the left hand side from the navigation or explorer. So I'll just minimize this as well. And in this one, in the layout, what I'll do is I will by default it gives for phone, right? So I think I can change it from phone to say, for example, TV, 4K TV, whatever you want to choose. And here by default it gives texture, right? So we don't need that. We'll just probably put a simple button which will trigger or set the uh, input. And I can name it as set HDMI input and give the right constraints to this button. Okay. And apart from this. Uh, what is I I don't think I need anything because I just want to show a simple one, but I'll do one thing. I'll just add one thing, something called video view. And what I'll do in this one is we'll keep this also because yeah, so that we can use this to display the uh, whatever the content we get from uh, from HDMI port, right? To display that over this one uh, on this uh, video view. I'll give the constraints over here also. By default, the ID is given. I'll quickly go back to my uh, go to my Java code and define the uh, structure of the um, button uh, set HDMI input uh, an empty uh, skeleton uh, method because first I'll like to set the on click attribute of that button in the layout itself. So that my layout is complete and I can trigger yeah so this is complete and I can start my uh, emulator now so in emulator uh, choose the television uh, one if you are not done uh, if you're not installed the emulator go to device manager and create device yes yeah, so I'm starting the emulator it may take a while to start that's fine uh, in the meantime I'll proceed with my code over here so first I will define probably a class readable for not a protected but private will be a better class readable for the video view what we just inserted okay so my emulator came up wow that was pretty quick right now if I click this nothing will happen because there is no code over here if I click that button so I just minimize this for a time being I will try to quickly complete my uh, code and here find you by id r dot id dot video view and here in this particular method we'll try to set the uh, input of the tv to the hdmi so first i'll initialize something called input manager tv input manager and here i can get the service from get system service method and tv input service Perfect. I may have to typecast it, so just cast the expression to TV input manager, not a problem. And then I can pull out the uh, TV input info, and that I can pull out from this TV manager. Say, for example, I just use this TV manager dot get TV input info. So if you get a list, you'll get a list of all the available input inform uh, input options you have. Say, for example, DVI. AV, HDMI, and so on and so forth. However, I, since I know in this case I am targeting HDMI, I'll just tag you use this one. And over here, I'll use something called type underscore HDMI. Yeah, so that's the type. For the list of type, you can, there are different lists you can uh, refer to. The Android uh, 
developer website. So first let me import this. So just press Alt Enter. And uh, yeah, first one is the option device info. Just click that. So it will, if I scroll up, it should import uh, this. Yeah, this is required. And I will quickly show you the list of the options which you will have. So if you go to the, sorry about that. So if you go to the TV input info in the Android developer uh, portal, so here you will get a list of all the input types available like DVI, HDMI, uh, S video, Tina, VGO, and so, and so forth. Okay, so you can use any of these options. So here I am targeting for HDMI. Now, if I continue over here with the code, at least you see some errors giving. Yeah, wrap it up, not a problem. Uh, so now, if I go further, also now the code becomes easy. We, I have to create one UD, and that UD could be, say, for example, uh, for TV input. TV input, yeah. I can put it, and then what I can do it is I can use my uh, something called TV contract. So TV contract dot build channel for pass through input. Yeah, you can use this one. And here the input is the ID. So the ID we have already got uh, uh, from the uh, TV input info what we have defined above. So dot get id perfect so this will give me the id of the uh yeah input channel whatever we want to use and then we can create the intent for this which will start so intent you know intent and here the action could be uh okay intent dot action no, I think it's spelling mistake. View, yeah, this one is what we can use, and then set the say for example uh, flag to it. So set flag, and this could be new task, right? So new task, and what else I can do? It is I can also set the data. Of course, I have to set the data. So set data, and that will be. Of course, a UD which we have defined. Oh, and I think that's all. I can now start this uh, activity. I can start this intent. And once this intent is started, so assuming everything goes fine, then I, my UD will have the required uh, yeah, information of the input channel. So then I can use my video view, what we have defined above, uh, to get the video from the UD which is basically my TV input yeah so that's all let me rerun the code and see how it comes up in the emulator so emulator is coming up I may have to make it a little bigger because it's a TV app right okay okay so it seems to have crashed let me try once again okay let me pause and check over on this so I pause the video and check so it seems like uh, over here what is happening is this TV info get ID this is written null pointer right and the reason for that if I go deeper here uh, say for example in the uh, settings okay, so let's go to the oh, and settings so over here in terms of channels and inputs we don't have that uh, option of HDMI port here as an input and that's the reason why it is not working so I can do one more thing. Uh, I can just quickly show you something. So, see, control, I will keep this line as it is. However, I will uh, so if I just use uh, TV info over here and I wrap it with the string value of. What I, I can directly use the only that is constant. Wrap, yeah. So wrap it with this, and if I run it again now, let me see what happens. Yeah, so it's not able to find the input, and that's why in this video view in the last line it says it cannot play the video because the UD is not yet uh, appropriately uh, uh, yeah initialized. 
So yeah, I wanted to. This will work out in the actual TV uh, because there will be an HDMI port. It's difficult for me to show the first thing in this uh, emulator uh, because there is no such option. Uh, if I go back to the settings over here, there is no options of HDMI port here in this emulator. So it's difficult for me to show and demonstrate. But however, if you use this concept in the actual TV, it will work out. So that's all I wanted to show. Uh, in this uh, uh, video that uh, uh, how you can uh, use the HDMI port as the input uh, using this uh, uh, input manager and getting the uh, using the right um, type uh, and so HDMI is an input uh, ID uh, for the your input info. So that's all I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.